this is NJ, your host on this channel. In this video, we will have our discussion on the upcoming monthly predictions for the month of July. So now friends, in this month, there is going to be a lot of planetary shift which is going to be taking place. And trust me, if you have got good yogas in your chart, you're going through some very favorable dashas. So good results can be anticipated in this month. So now friends, first we will start with the way planets are going to be behaving in this month. So starting first with the king amongst the planets, which is the planet sun. So sun is going to be transiting in the Gemini sign in the first half of the month, which can be seen as a very good sign where all the spotlight, all of your energy and confidence will go in your efforts, in your initiatives. And for all those people who are connected with media, social media, digital marketing, all those people can get benefited. Now friends, in the second half of the month, sun is going to be transiting in the cancer sign, which can be seen as a very good time specifically for all those people who are connected with the fields of construction, real estate, caregiving profiles and all of that. Now friends, the most sensitive and volatile transit of this month is going to be of the entry of Mars in its own sign of Aries. Because once it's going to enter over there, it is going to get conjunct with Rahu. So trust me, the results are going to be experienced in a very amplified way. So now you are the best judge of your own personality of your own life. Are you a kind of person who is always in command of his instincts, of his impulses, of his aggression? Or you are a kind of person who just quickly gets into a rage? So if you fall in the latter category, so you have to follow precautions because temper, aggression, drive is definitely going to be at its peak. But trust me, friends, all those people who work in the fields of uh, technology or new age sciences, artificial intelligence, all those people can also get benefited because of this influence. Now, friends, uh, moving ahead to the transit role of the Mercury over here. So definitely, friends, uh, Mercury is going to be transiting in the Gemini sign, which is its own ruled sign. And Mercury in the Gemini definitely holds a lot of potential of manifesting some very good contacts, good results, good uh, business decision making. So uh, initially in the first half of the month from July 2nd till July 16th, Mercury is going to be transiting in the Gemini sign. But once it is going to enter the sign of Cancer, that is going to be a time when it is going to create a lot of turmoil in your decision making. So I would say that the first half of the month seems to be very promising for all the business connected people. Friends are uh, moving ahead from the Venus's perspective. So definitely friends, a uh, Venus is going to be transiting in the uh, like a uh, Taurus sign, a sign ruled by Venus in itself. So starting from the June 18th until July 12th, Venus is going to be transiting in the Taurus sign, which can be seen as a very good sign. And afterwards, it is going to move to the uh, Gemini sign, which is also a very favorable placement for Venus to be placed in. So for all those people in whose case, their profession, their occupation, their aspiration is connected with the Venus. All those people can get benefited. Now friends, uh, the most important uh, transit which is going to be taking place in this month is that Saturn in its uh, retrograde motion is going to be entering back to its Capricorn sign on July 12th in between July 12th and 13th. So trust me friends, like the way we always say this thing that whenever a planet is retrograde, it gives rise to its chase double. Planet is not only it appears to be more closer to the earth, but also its potential and power to manifest results tend to remain very strong. So now it all comes down to in your own natal chart. Let's say for example, if you are a kind of person in whose case Saturnian energies are working to the best of its fashion. Like uh, either you are a Taurus Lagna, you are a, a Libra Lagna, or you are a Capricorn, or you are a Aquarius Lagna. So in those certain cases or alignments, or if uh, Saturn is exalted in your chart, you are connected with the Saturnian fields. So all those people can definitely get benefited. Trust me friends, all what you have to do is that you have to open up the Ashtavarga chart in your, uh, in your Kundli software and you have to see how many points Saturn is giving to the Capricorn sign. So trust me, if Saturn is giving more than five points to the Capricorn and Saturn is a auspicious planet for you guys, so good results can definitely be anticipated. Now friends, over here, I want to say it in a very clear and transparent words that Saturn's uh, retrograde motion and its presence in the Capricorn is definitely going to be manifesting strong results. 
If Saturn is a good planet for you, so positive, strong results can be experienced. If Saturn is a weak planet for you, afflicted planet for you, and you have always struggled in the signification of the Saturn, then you have to remain extra cautious because Saturn might create obstacle specifically in the area of life where it is going to be entering in your chart. This is your ascendant. And lastly, friends, one uh, like a uh, saving grace which we are going to have in this uh, month is that just because Saturn is going to retrograde back to the uh, Capricorn sign. So Jupiter, which was under the influence of the Pap Katri Yoga for uh, past couple of weeks, because the sign next to Jupiter is the Aries where Rahu, one malefic planet is placed. And uh, before, because uh, Saturn was also placed a sign before the uh, Pisces. So because of which Jupiter was in the influence of Pap Katri. But the moment uh, Saturn is going to retrograde back to the Capricorn sign, Trust me, Jupiter will be in its best dignity, in its best uh, glory placement to manifest its positive, benevolent and bountiful results in all of our lives. So that is something friends which I wanted to give you guys just a quick overview the way planets are going to be behaving in this month. Now blending everything, we will try to understand the way this month is going to be treating you uh, basis customized to your Lagna or your Ascendant. So friends, uh, starting with the Aries Ascendant first. So now friends, as you can see that Saturn is going to retrograde back to your 10th house and it's going to give rise to the one of the important Panch Mahapurush Yoga known as the Shash Yoga. And just because now Jupiter is also free from the clutches of the Papkatri Yoga in the 12th house. And also friends, like Sun's placement in the 3rd house can also be seen as a very good placement because Sun in your uh, ascendant chart is the ruler of your one of the important trine house. So friends, overall combining all the alignments, broadly speaking, the month seems to be very promising for all the Aries Lagna people. Specifically, whether if you are in any job, so uh, enhancement of your reputation for all those people who are out of the job, they are looking for a job, applying for different agencies and all of that all those people can also get benefited they might remain lucky in landing at a job of their own choice of their own liking also friends because uh, Jupiter is going to be in a very dignified state in the 12th house so for all those people who are engaged or working towards the signification of the 12th house you want to apply for any foreign university you want to immigrate to a foreign land or any of the concerns of even to get married or good marriage matrimonial alliances proposals coming your way so from all perspective broadly speaking this month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the Aries uh, Lagna people now whether you are considering any job promotion or any transfer you're applying for that so specifically friends from the career perspective from the income financial perspective enhancement of the reputation perspective the month seems to be very favorable for you the only thing is that friends just because uh, Saturn is going to be uh, like coming back to your 10th house. So your answerability or responsibility at the work front might suddenly increase. And lastly, because your ascendant lord is going to be uh, conjunct with Rahu right over there in your first house. So aggression, short temperness and rage is something you have to protect yourself because otherwise friends, any decision taken in haste or any aggressive maneuver or outburst might land you in some sort of dispute, some sort of conflict or trouble. But apart from the heated energy of the Mars, only if you can work with that, you can tame that. All other planets are definitely contributing in a positive way for all the Aries Lagna people in this month of July. Moving ahead friends, now for all the Taurus rising people. So now friends, in your case, uh, Jupiter is finally going to be out of the clutches of the Pap Katri Yoga in your 11th house, which can be seen as a very good sign. Saturn is going to retrograde back in your 9th house of your luck and fortune. And most importantly, your ascendant Lord Venus is going to be well placed in your first house. Mercury is also going to be supporting, putting its intelligence in the matters of your financial income, which is the second house. So now friends, blending everything everything this month seems to be very historical very over the top auspicious for all the Taurus Lagna people so if you have got some good yogas in your chart you're also going through some favorable time period Dasha so trust me good results can be anticipated now this could be because of the support or association with someone very prominent or the support or help which you are gonna receive from your elder siblings or from your any good friend of yours or the guidance or the mentorship which you're going to receive from 
from your father, from your guru, from your mentors. So overall friends, now whether we can say that it's the charm or elegance in your personality, is it going to be the good discriminatory intelligence which you're going to put in the matters of the commerce, trade, financial management. So overall, the month seems to be very favorable. Like whether you have to, uh, you know, appear in any important competitive exam, you have to finalize a college of your choice or for all those people who have been single for a long time to, uh, you know, uh, run into a prospective partner, prospective match. So whether we talk about your job, your career, enhancement of reputation regarding any sort of travels, the month's energy seems to be very much favorable for all the Taurus Lagna people in this month of July. Moving ahead friends, now for all the Gemini rising people. So now friends, in your case, as you can freely see over here, that Mercury is going to be well placed right over there in your first house, in your ascendant. Now friends, uh, Jupiter is going to be out of the clutches of the Papkatri Yoga in your 10th house. It's giving rise to the Hamsa Yoga. And also friends, uh, Saturn is going to retrograde back in your 8th house. So now friends, if I were to summarize or conclude this month's theme for you guys. So definitely friends, because of the presence of Venus in your 12th house, it is definitely going to give rise to the passion. I would say that specifically in the matters of any extravagant decision making and all of that, you have to remain very careful. Also for any sort of clandestine secretive activities, you have to remain very cautious in those matters because as you can freely see, now Saturn is going to be retrograde in your 8th house. So only if you can work on those areas, trust me friends, because Jupiter's presence in the 10th house can actually bestow lot many opportunities in your life. And as you can freely see that now Jupiter is not restricted because of the restraining influence of Saturn creating and contributing towards the Pap Katri Yoga. So I would say friends that at your work front, more opportunities can be anticipated. Saturn's retrograde motion and its uh, presence in the 8th house can initially give rise to the uh, stomach related problems and all of that. But when we talk about whether if you are working in the direction of foreign settlement, you are a very spiritually aligned person or for anything to do with the uh, gaining or winning over any paternal property dispute and all of that, the month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the Gemini rising people. So friends, if I were to summarize regarding your work front, I can fairly see some sort of important decision making, some sort of positive development. Saturn's presence in the 8th house will definitely make you very insightful, very uh, uh, pinpointing, uh, concentrated and focused towards your goals. Mercury's presence in the 1st house will also make you very opportunistic. It's only the strong presence of of Venus in the 12th house you have to work on that and also friends as you can fairly see that Mars is also going to be entering in your 11th house and Mars and Rahu and Rahu is has also uh, would have transited in the Bharani Nakshatra by that time. So overall friends, like regarding the opportunities, uh, running into some important people, suddenly some opportunity falling on your lap. So regarding all of that front, the month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the Gemini ascendant people for this upcoming month of July. Moving ahead friends, now for all the uh, Cancer Lagna people. So now friends, in your case, as you can fairly see that uh, Jupiter is going to be out of the clutches of the Pap Katri Yoga in your ninth house. So trust me, the kind of support of the luck which you have been awaiting ever since Jupiter has entered the um, like uh, Pisces sign in your ninth house, now you will start experiencing all of that. The only one Mool Mantra or a piece of advice which I want to give to all the Cancer Lagna people is that try to uh, stay firm in your faith and try to be as ethical as religious as it is possible for you because trust me it's a very fortune awakening time which you're going through because Jupiter the most benefic or species planet is crossing from your ninth house second thing is that friends because Saturn is going to retrograde back in your uh, seventh house and even in your 10th house, uh, Mars is going to enter over there, is going to get conjunct with Rahu. So definitely friends, at your work front, I'm actually looking forward to some steep, some uh, quick, very uh, sharp kind of development. Now again friends, uh, when I say quick and very sudden, intense development. So initially things might not be as per your liking, but only if you can stay calm and firm in your belief, in your hard work, in your work ethics, things can be turned to your favor as well. But definitely friends, this is actually going to be a kind of yoga where a lot of people will change job, they will get promoted, a sudden unexpected, uh, you know, consideration for a very big opportunity. So that is how things are gonna manifest during this month for all the uh, like um, 
कैंसर लगना पीपल सेकेंड थिंग इज दैट फ्रेंड्स बिकॉज सर्टन इज गोइंग टू रेट्रोग्रेड बैक इन योर सेवंथ हाउस सो इन ऑल those scenarios where you have been awaiting for any matrimonial alliances or things just keep on progressing but they get to a halt right at the 11th hour right at the last moment so i would say that for a uh, people to get married this month is creating a good yoga or if you want to actually initiate some projects which has been pending for a long time so even for the commercial business matters perspective as well the month's energy seems to be very much favorable also friends because in your 11th house as well venus is going to be very dignified so i would say that the month's energy seems to be very favorable whether we talk about enjoyment uh, social networking association going out uh, you know uh, meeting new people or you know being considered for some new role new opportunity so overall friends the charm the elegance in your personality is definitely going to attract lot many opportunities towards you the only one thing which i want to say over here is that try to remain firm in your uh, religious austerities during this month because trust me this month has got some very explosive development for you now this could be for good or this could be initially things might not look to be very favorable but later on it might have some good results for you so try to just give more and more thrust and power to your jupiter which is right now in a very pure in a very dignified state transiting in your ninth house moving at friends now for all the leo rising people so now friends in your case uh, saturn is going to retrograde back in your 6th house jupiter is going to be free from the clutches of the papkatri yoga in your 8th house and mars is going to be conjunct with a uh, rahu right over there in your 9th house so now friends if you will see the overall planetary alignment so let's say for example because of the influence of mercury in your 11th house definitely your mind will be very much open towards new association new collaboration or looking forward to the bigger and broader view of the life venus's presence in the 10th house can be seen as very favorable for maintaining that harmony at your line of work and this could be seen as a very beneficial time specifically for all those people who are straight away connected with the venus in field clothes garment fashion beauty cosmetics entertainment business now friends if you will look at your 9th house so over here rahu is going to get conjunct with a uh, mars so at 11th hour last moment mars could actually give you some important work related travel as well now friends uh, because of the influence of a retrograde saturn in your 6th house it might actually make you work very hard starting from the second week of the july so suddenly answerability responsibilities uh, will start piling up on your table you might be uh, there will be a lot which will be expected out of you to fulfill uh, regarding your job duties and responsibilities and let's say for example any of those past pending things which have been asking your attention or your time might be suddenly come to you so regarding all of that saturn's presence in the 6th house its retrograde presence in the 6th house can be seen as conducive of that it is definitely going to benefit all those people in whose line of work arbitration conflict resolution problem solving is an integral part of their job second thing is that friends because of the presence of jupiter in your 8th house so i would say that now jupiter is in its best dignity so people who are connected with the occult fields people who are connected with the insurance revenue taxing or if you are considering any immigration or a uh, foreign overseas settlement so the month seems to be favorable for all those people but friends overall in a nutshell the kind of a planetary shift which is taking place customized to your rising sign i would say that if something is not very important it is advisable to postpone it for the month of august specifically like if you are a first time house buyer or you have to uh, deal with some new market with new people where credibility uh, issues are involved risk and uncertainty is very high so i would say that the month's energy does not seems to be very favorable for all those uh, aspects of the life so friends i'm not looking at a very high paced a uh, month for the leo rising nor i'm looking at a very low paced uh, energy for this month i'm just seeing a very mediocre energy which has more to do with managing and developing the perfection in your existing line of work rather than looking for the expansion or working on some new areas moving at friends now for all the virgo rising people so now friends in your case as you can see that your ascendant lord is going to be well placed in your 10th house 
in this month second thing is that friends even the placement of your second house lord venus in the ninth house is going to be adding more intensity and value to the matters of your luck and fortune now friends jupiter is going to be out of the clutches of the pap kati yoga in your seventh house and friends uh, if you will see that saturn is going to retrograde back from your sixth house and it is going to be well placed in your fifth house so now friends if i were to summarize everything the only one vulnerability which i am looking at for you guys is that because friends in your case see mars is not a very auspicious planet for you guys and over and above that its entry and its conjunction with the rahu in the 8th house is actually putting you on the radar on the red alert specifically if in your case uh mars in your natal chart is not well placed and you have always struggled in the matters of the mars because of the aggression outburst or crankiness or anything to do with the you know concerns of the debts and loans and all of that so if only you can work and be cautious in the matters of the 8th house during this month when you drive when you engage with people or in any sort of conflict and dispute how you maintain your grace in those kind of circumstances only if you can give attention towards the precautionary side of the planet mars in your 8th house i would say friends that definitely regarding the matter of your career and profession i'm looking at some good opportunities which will definitely come your way with your discriminatory intelligence with your vision you will be able to rise above any sort of competition also this month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the students or all those people who are about to appear in any competitive exam if you have been single for a long time so running into some prospective uh, matrimonial alliance or for people who are in their own business so good results can be anticipated in all areas of life the only red alert for all the virgo rising people is that the matters of your 8th house now whether this could be about in your case your activities are very uh, secretive unethical unlawful or you are already going through some sort of uh, arguments or conflicts with your in-laws so i would say friends you have to remain very cautious you have to maintain your temper during this month and any uh, like worship connected to the lord hanuman like recitation of hanuman chalisa a visit to the lord hanuman's temple can be seen as a very good way of uh, tackling the energy of this month but again friends i'll say the same thing regarding the enhancement of your public image or regarding some important developments at your work front in your career this month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the virgo rising people moving at friends now for all the libra rising people so now friends in your case the month will start with your ascendant lord being very well placed in your 8th house the second thing is that friends if you will see over here even the placement of mercury in your 9th house can be seen as a very good sign for being very receptive towards the advice and guidance which you are going to receive from people around you second thing is that friends definitely for any important decision making we have to see the contribution coming from the slow moving planets so jupiter is going to be free from the clutches of the pap kati yoga in your 6th house which can be seen as a very good sign for all those people who are in any sort of service you are in any sort of corporate job multinational job so all those people can definitely get benefited not only the way you execute things the way you manage things or any important decision making pertaining to your job this month's energy seems to be very favorable because friends even from the 6th house jupiter also aspects your 10th house of your actions with its uh, fifth aspect as well so overall friends or uh, for all those people who are in any sort of a uh, job uh, setting these people can get benefited also friends if you will see saturn is going to be retrograding back to your fourth house so which can be seen as a very good time specifically for all those people in whose case for long you want to construct your own home or you have been going through any dispute any conflict regarding the matters of your property land real estate so all those people can get some sort of clarity some sort of relief with the entry of saturn in its true dignity in your fourth house definitely friends saturn coming to your fourth house is actually going to give rise to the uh, shani dahiya kind of combination which has more to do with the uh, libra moon sign but i would say friends that definitely the domestic life 
will ask a lot of your attention lot of your time so only if you can manage things well at your domestic front i am actually and really looking forward to some sort of positive concrete development specifically for all those people who are engaged or working in the lines of the sixth house connected matters now also friends if you will see over here uh, because uh, rahu and mars is going to be conjunct in your seventh house so definitely friends for the uh, business perspective there could be some sudden development sudden opportunity or let's say for example if you're already connected with the fields of mass media or you're connected with politics or entertainment business so suddenly there could be some controversy some sort of gossip or some sort of news or buzz which can surround around you so try to remain very much uh, receptive or welcoming towards that the second thing is that friends in the matters of your relationship like uh, regarding your bond or your relationship with your partner within the marriage and all of that so definitely friends you have to remain very cautious during this time there is a lot of heat lot of energy impulse which is going in the matters of your seventh house so let's say for example if you are well uh, controlled and protected in that area then there's nothing to worry about but if you are already in a very uh, aggressive abusive sort of relationship so you have to draw the line during this time otherwise things might go out of the hand with this heated energy coming in the matters of your seventh house moving at friends now for all these Scorpio rising people so now friends in your case as you can fairly see over here that your sixth house is actually coming into a lot of scrutiny during this month so because of the entry of Mars in your sixth house which in a way is a very auspicious house for you guys because this is the house which belongs to your ascendant lord but during this time because of its conjunction with Rahu so trust me you have to remain very very conscious any impulsive reckless headstrong action or decision of yours could land you into trouble second thing is that this can be seen as a very blessed time specifically if you are a lawyer like your profession and your occupation is a uh, hover around the matters of the conflict or resolving other people's problem then you can get benefited but also friends if you are a kind of person who is not very efficient or very uh, wise enough in managing your finances and all of that so you have to remain very cautious I would say that it is better to avoid or postpone any sort of applying for a loan or uh, giving your money on credit to someone on interest to someone so matters and concerns of the finances needs to be done with complete caution and here during this time second thing is that friends like when we talk about other areas of life like just because Saturn is going to be coming back like coming out of your fourth house and is going to be retrograding back to your third house and Saturn's uh, placement in the third house is generally considered as very positive so I would say friends that see regarding the ideation front this month's energy seems to be very favorable like working on some new ideas new concept trying to collaborate meet new people it's just like that only if you can work on the matters of your temper second thing is that uh, the matters of your financial management or any sort of financial liabilities and all of that only if you can manage that because friends now when we talk about from the Saturn's perspective its placement its transit in the third house is always considered as auspicious even the placement of Jupiter which is now going to be free from the clutches of the Pap Katri Yoga even its placement in the uh, like fifth house is considered as very auspicious so trust me friends whether you are a student you're about to appear in any competitive exam you're working on some new ideas new strategies you work in any sort of planning uh, or any technical field so good times can be foreseen for all those people also friends if you will see over here because of the presence of mercury in your eighth house it is also going to make you very insightful very explorative very researchful so that is how your mind and your uh, intellectual faculties are going to be functioning this month also friends the presence of the venus in the seventh house is also going to give rise to some sort of romance some sort of relationship energy so even from the relationship perspective as well your fifth house your seventh house is going to be in a very good dignity so regarding the relationship front new ideation perspective strong uh, demonstrating strong leadership skills perspective as well this month's energy is very favorable only thing is that friends the Rahu and the Mars 
uh, motley combination in your sixth house so that is the area where you have to work on that like specifically if you're a kind of person who's very aggressive impulsive always getting into fights easily get agitated so you have to actually balance and calm yourself down also friends the worship of lord hanuman can be seen as a very good remedy for tackling up this energy now friends i still remember there was one uh, book which i read uh, in which there uh, there was this saint who was trying to teach this lesson to someone and this person uh, someone said uh, some nasty thing to this person and this person got very aggressive about to you know flying high that I will do this thing I will do that thing so the saint told him that just a one nasty word did so much to you imagine with the same uh, intensity and fervor you will take the name of the God how much changes it will do to you so that is the only mool mantra which I want to give it to you and worship Lord Hanuman Lord Hanuman's grace will direct your energies in the right direction Moving ahead friends, now for all these Sagittarius uh, ascendant people, so now friends in your case as you can fairly see that Saturn is going to be coming out of its retrograde motion from your uh, third house like being in the retrograde but it is going to be now entering your second house. So definitely friends the matters of your finances needs to be taken with a lot of contemplation and care. Like Saturn is a planet which says that if you can actually manage something in half of the amount the better is to go that way. So Saturn just represents a very frugal way of managing your finances. Second thing is that friends even the um, like your ascendant lord is going to be free from the clutches of the Pap Katri Yoga being well placed in the fourth house. So definitely friends regarding your domestic life or any of the important uh, family uh, or personal life as well lifetime decision can be taken with complete confidence with free hold during this month second thing is that friends if you will see over here the only vulnerability is that because mars is going to get conjunct with rahu in your fifth house now friends uh, we only look forward to the moon when it comes down to your emotions your feelings but trust me friends your actual decision making your thoughts is something which is always seen from the fifth house so during this time friends rahu will definitely try to rebel you or the influence of Rahu and Mars will actually give a lot of uh, you know intensity and temptation towards the shortcut taking too much risk and specifically if in your case you deal or you work in the fields of uh, speculation or stock market or trading cryptocurrencies and all of that so you have to remain very cautious now friends this uh, energy of Rahu and Mars in the fifth house can be seen as a very good sign for adventure hiking traveling meeting new people love romance but when we talk about your conduct in the society so that needs to be monitored with a lot of contemplation lot of care the second thing is that friends definitely the presence of uh, like a uh, mercury in your seventh house can be seen as a very good sign like the combined influence of mercury in your seventh house and saturn in your uh, second house will definitely make you uh, like uh, intelligent enough how to manage or reduce your cost and look forward to more expansive ways of generating more revenue so i would say regarding the professional and career front the month's energy seems to be very favorable regarding any important uh, domestic life uh, decision or family uh, uh, positive auspicious event perspective as well the month's energy seems to be very favorable the only thing is that friends when we talk about adventure uh, playfulness or fun so the definition of fun needs to be well calculated has to be within the range within the boundaries because the influence of Rahu and Mars might actually add a NOS cylinder in your existing line of work or to all of your passion or to your energies Moving ahead friends, now for all the Capricorn rising people. So now friends, in your case, as you can fairly see that Saturn will retrograde back to your first house, which can be seen as a very good sign. So not only Saturn is a planet of maturity, of discipline, but also it is your ascendant lord as well. So all the Saturnian principles needs to be followed with utmost care and attention during this time when Saturn is going to come back to your first house. Second thing is that friends, Jupiter's... Uh, placement in the third house now it is going to be free from the clutches of the uh, Papkatri yoga so like Jupiter's placement in the third house is considered as a Mandakaraka placement for the planet Jupiter but when we talk about the material benefit so trust me Jupiter being in the third house can create lot many opportunities specifically for all those people who are connected with the uh, media marketing sales writing working as an influencer and blogger so Jupiter in the air houses can actually give you lot many followers 
onwards now friends when we talk about from the uh, rahu and mars's perspective in the fourth house so trust me friends i have seen lot many people with the capricorn rising sign and saturn and mars well placed working as a realtor working in the fields of construction and gaining uh, very uh, and doing very good in their line of work so definitely friends your confidence and your fearlessness is definitely going to give you strong uh, points or earn you lot many uh, admirers during this time so regarding your professional front specifically if you are connected with the fields of uh, technology engineering construction real estate and all of that all of you guys can actually get benefited but the only thing is that friends one thing is that being confident and second thing is being annoying being unethical being unlawful or being very extremely forceful so you have to learn how to balance out these two boundaries also friends on the internal emotional front like this rahu and mars influence might be good for your material growth and benefit but it is always vulnerable regarding the internal emotional peace perspective so over there you have to work and also friends if you will see over here uh, venus's uh, placement and its uh, well placed dignity in your fifth house can be seen as a very good sign that for all those people who have been single for a long time so love romance people connected with the art and creative fields they can also get benefited so overall friends the month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the capricorn rising people i am actually looking forward to lot many opportunities i am looking forward to you again falling back to the uh, writers discipline uh, and the saturnian qualities of helping and serving humanity and also friends the way uh, venus is functioning in your fifth house and the mercury is contributing to the 6th uh, house so even for all those people who are connected with the fields of stock market speculation working in a corporate job so all those people can also get benefited the only red flag is that regarding this uh, combined influence of uh, mars and rahu in your fourth house that regarding your internal emotional peace you have to take out time for yoga meditation or any sort of rejuvenation or therapeutic practices in order to keep yourself at peace at calm during this month moving at friends now for all the uh, aquarius rising people so now friends in your case as you can fairly see that saturn is going to be retrograding back from your first house and it is going to be entering your 12th house uh, jupiter is going to be free from the clashes of the pap kritri yoga in your second house so now friends this combination can be seen as a very good sign specifically regarding your financial growth perspective new opportunities now whether you work in a banking field or you are applying for any overseas settlement any of the concerns of visa or you are working or engaged in the fields of import export or international trade so all those people can definitely get benefited definitely friends saturn has been attached as the karaka of the 12th house so that in itself means that saturn is definitely going to restrain all of the expenses or any of the concerns which you might have been facing on the account of the hidden enemies or all those people who are enmical towards you also friends like when we talk about from the perspective of the rahu and the mars so definitely friends mars becomes a very important planet for you guys because it has got the rulership of your 10th house so during this time you will demonstrate strong leadership skills you will be very confident and any task any work allotted to you during this time there is a strong possibility that you will be able to execute all of those job uh, responsibilities with complete perfection so now friends whether you are a freelance person or you work in the fields of construction real estate it technology i would say that remain very much receptive towards the new ideas any innovative ideas and all of that the way you work in a traditional way uh before i would say that be more open towards innovation or new way of executing things trust me you will get benefited or you will be proud of the kind of skills or traits which you are carrying within yourself but you are not giving attention to that also friends the placement of venus uh, being well placed in your uh, fourth house can be seen as a very good sign because venus's presence in the fourth house is all about feeling that beauty and grace and harmony deep within yourself so the domestic life will definitely prove to be a matter of comfort and relief for all the aquarius uh, lagna people and also friends the presence of the mercury in your fifth house can be also seen as a very good sign that whether you are a student or you are in any fields of art media creativity or any sort of speculative or uh, you know trading related decision or if you are connected with these field so all those people are definitely going to get benefited because of the well dignified presence of uh, mercury right over there in your fifth house so now friends if i have 
have to summarize definitely Jupiter's presence in the second house will give more bountiful opportunities to you regarding the matters of your finances. The presence of Rahu and Mars in the third house will definitely make you very confident is going to make you very courageous and open towards the innovation in your existing line of work. Saturn's retrograde presence in the 12th house can be seen as very good if in your line of work you have anything to do with the foreign lands or foreign dealings. And also friends, it can also restrain all of the uh, hidden uh, you know, threats on the account of the people who are enmical or envious towards you. So overall friends, the month's energy seems to be very favorable for all the Aquarius Lagna people. The only one advice which I want to give again Again is that try to remain very much open towards innovation. Moving at friends, now for all the Pisces, Lagna people. So now friends, in your case, uh, Jupiter is going to be free from the clutches of the Pap Katri Yoga right over there in your first house, making you receptive, open towards lot many opportunities. Wisdom is something which the divine guru or the divine cosmic energies are whispering right over there in your ears. The second thing is that friends, uh, because Saturn is going to be retrograding back in your 11th house. So definitely Saturn is going to be demanding lot many uh, discipline and pinpointed focus and attention towards your goals. This is not a time for you to go haywire with your dreams, with your goals. You should be very much clear and focused towards what exactly is that which you want. Saturn's retrograde motion in the 11th house might also connect you with some sort of old uh, you know a uh, guide or mentor which you might have got lost which might have been away from your life or which you might have lost with the passage of time so the arrival of some old past mentor might also take place during this time second thing is that friends because as you can see that Mars is going to get conjunct with Rahu right over there in your second house. So the matters of finances are definitely going to take a strong hit during this month, now which can work in your favor as well because it's very difficult to predict anything on the account of the Rahu. But friends, the beauty over here is that Mars becomes a very important, like one of the uh, lord of the trine house. So Mars is an auspicious planet for you guys. So the only thing is that which I want to advise that try not to act any greedy or being tempted towards some easy short gains during this time. Only if you can work on that front. And let's say for example, if you are planning or contemplating some sort of revamp, some sort of restructuring regarding the matters of your finances and also friends in your line of work the way you can innovate things the way you can keep your supply chain or the way you conduct the business how you can uh, make it more competitive more lucrative for the market is your business is your offering is in line with the latest industry standards and tech standards and all of that so that is going to become very important during this time when Mars is going to enter your second house but also friends I would say that Mars's entry and its conjunction with the Rahu in the second house might give a lot of temptation towards a uh, more consumption of alcohol or smoking if that is getting qualified in your case or it can also make your speech little bit harsh little bit nasty so you have to give attention towards that as well now friends when we talk about from the contribution of the Venus and the Mercury so their energy seems to be working a lot in your favor like Venus's presence in the uh, third house is definitely going to uh make you the center of attention in your uh, group circle like definitely you will be admired you will be appreciated for all of your suggestion all of your help which you are bestowing to the people around you and also friends uh, mercury's placement in the fourth house can actually benefit you specifically if your existing line of work your business hovers around the matters of the fourth house like you work as a trainer as a teacher or anything to do with the uh, interior decor gift item shop and all of that so all those people can get benefited because of the entry and dignified mercury being placed there in your fourth house. So friends, overall the month's energy seems to be very favorable. Jupiter is now in its full dignity in your first house. Uh, Saturn is going to be well placed in your 11th house of long term goals and vision of yours. It's just only the a combination of the Mars and Rahu is making you a little bit vulnerable that you should not fall prey or you should not be getting tempted towards some sort of easy short quick gain only if you can work on that front the month's energy seems to be very good for some sort of clarity on your goals on your path and good sort of advices and help coming from people who you cherished or you value a lot in your life.
So this is something friends which I wanted to say as a part of my inputs for the monthly predictions for the month of July for all the rising signs. For further more updates and notifications on the divine signs of Vedic Astrology, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page.